Hey guys, before I start this video, I just want to give a shout out to Clean and this video that kind of sparked my idea and my opinions about Tarkov going forward. Uh, go check out that video. He knows a lot about this game and the people behind it. I will link it below. Yeah, he's awesome. Definitely check his channel out. Thanks. Hey y'all, thanks for being here. I made this video because I want to bring attention to something that I have not heard anybody really talk about before and shine a pretty bright light on what I think Tarkov's full release is going to look like. And what I think it's going to be is something far different to what we have now. And why would that be? I think it's because of Tarkov's genre defining gameplay loop, one that I believe they're going to scrap almost completely. Now this is interesting to me because they practically invented this gameplay loop for the beta version of this game and it's spelled success for them for over nine years. Now all of these things have been discussed before and I've heard them in many other videos but what has not been talked about is what this gameplay loop is going to look like at full release will be something akin to a gameplay loop that was genre defining way back in 2007 with the game Stalker. And more accurately, the amalgamation of what we have now with Tarkov and Stalker's gameplay loop. Now why would Tarkov alter this essential gameplay loop? One that basically defines the game, one that they've discovered themselves and has had so much success over the years and mix it with an old outdated game like Stalker. Is this going to be a bad thing for Tarkov? I actually think completely the opposite. And it's important that I talk about why later on in the video. Now I want to be clear because they're not scrapping their gameplay loop completely. There is still going to be risk versus reward aspect of going into a map with gear that you could potentially lose if you die. And if you are able to get out of the map or get to your bunker somehow, you can save it, sell it, or bring it into another raid with you. But ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you that this is where Tarkov's familiar gameplay loop ends and is replaced by stalkers. No more spawning into a map with other PMCs all at the same time. No more shooting at every single target you see like it's a Call of Duty game. There won't be a raid timer. In fact, there won't even be raids. That term probably won't exist at full release. What that's all going to be replaced with is full, story-driven, fleshed out online missions that you can complete by yourself or with a buddy, where you have to align with NPC and PMC player factions to all help you achieve your goal of escaping from Tarkov. And if all of that sounded complicated, it was certainly complicated to say it. There's so much more to how you actually accomplish that and move through the world of Tarkov. But I do believe that this will be the part that'll be most like Stalker's gameplay loop. Let me explain. This map that you see before the start of every raid will be your linear path out of Tarkov. Now the particular gameplay loop I am talking about is map to map travel, where you move through one area of the map to the other. There will be a lot of free roaming options here, including side quests, you know, options to go back to old maps that you've already been through just to level up your character. Maybe the story goes back a little bit through the maps just to elaborate a little bit on what's going on. Maybe there's certain situations that happen that call you north again before you head back south to escape from Tarkov. There's a lot of things that will happen that will cause your character to kind of bounce around a little bit. And if it's anything like this, then this is the stalker gameplay loop in a nutshell. I'm going to right now really quickly elaborate on how all this might come together and work within the story of Tarkov. Starting at ground zero, this will contain your first and only single player mission out of the entire game. This is to familiarize newer players with the gameplay mechanics such as shooting and looting and getting out of the map, stuff like that. Next is Streets of Tarkov. This is where I think you'll be introduced to your first traitor, such as Therapist. If I'm wrong, she'll be more toward customs. I believe that this part of the game will introduce you to how brutal Tarkov can be and how challenging it's going to feel moving on to another area. Other than that, I don't have much information or can even speculate on what you're going to be doing here or what it's going to be like, but that's BSG for you. Now we move into Interchange. I believe this will be the first place that you'll be introduced to Tarkov's boss. Killa, which is the hardest boss in the entire game, so that'll be a rude awakening. I know you're probably thinking about Kaban, like what about Kaban and his and that other boss, his buddy on streets? I think you'll be introduced to them later on when you go back to streets to do other missions and to level up your character to finally get to your escape from Tarkov. Now we get to customs, and this is where the game's really gonna open up. Because this is where you're going to first see like those underground bunkers. You know those little like concrete bunkers that are scattered all around Tarkov in every map? Well, those I believe will be a way to fast travel to other places in Tarkov. 
I also think this will be the first access to your bunker, to your hideout. I think customs will also be a place where you'll be introduced to Peacekeeper, Skier, some other traders, and Prapper. Just a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff is going to happen in customs to kind of mark the beginning of the middle of the game, probably. Now we have Factory. I don't really know much about this place. I have heard rumors that it is built above labs, so I think it's going to be your way to get into labs to find out more of the lore of Tarkov, to find out more of the story and to progress your character's campaign in the game. Next of course is Woods. I don't know, Cultus, Sturman. I'm not really sure what's gonna happen here. It's gonna get fucking sideways, that's for sure. I think this is where the story just gets weird with side characters and all sorts of other bad actors or good actors or people that you may or may not work with within Tarkov that all kind of come together in the story. Moving over to Reserve and Lighthouse and Shoreline, I'm kind of gonna bunch them together because I have no idea what's going on. I'm not a big lore junkie. I'm sorry for the guys who are came here for that. I'm just here to kind of explain what the game's gonna feel like in terms of the gameplay loop. That's what I probably should have titled this video, but it ain't clickbaity enough. I'm playing YouTube's game here. So this is what I think it's gonna be like in these areas. Reserve, you're gonna start meeting the Raiders. You're gonna start meeting the enemy NPC factions, I think. In Lighthouse, obviously you're going to meet the rogues. They're gonna be friendly with you if you're a USEC. Uh, if you're a bear, not so much. You're going to meet Lightkeeper here. He's going to be your key out of Tarkov. He's a pretty integral part of the whole story. He's the man that is working with the cultists. He knows about the EMP that kind of started this whole mess who's, that stopped the whole region of Tarkov in its tracks and started the whole conflict in the first place. There's going to be a lot of integral endgame story pieces. Finally, of course, you have Shoreline and Terminal where the end game stuff is going to be. I am so sorry if I'm skipping over a ton of this lore stuff in these areas. I know nothing about them. I fucking hate Shoreline. Yeah, Terminal is where you get out. I don't know what's going to happen. I can't even speculate on what's going to happen. I'm not going to do my research about what might happen because it could all be so different by the time the game comes out. So just be patient, expect what I told you today. And this does bring me to my final point of why I think this gameplay loop change is going to be great for Tarkov. For anyone who knows anything about anything at all, knows that what goes up must come down and that is especially true about anything that's successful. This gameplay loop of risk versus reward, looter shooter, extraction shooter type genre is now just becoming replicated so much in games like The Division, Ghost of Tabor VR, you had it with Cycle Frontier that shut down. So many other games I'm sure I can mention here that are now following in Tarkov's footsteps. You even have Call of Duty with their DMZ. Because of this, the market is going to have no lack of extraction shooters. In fact, it may become very saturated of them. Tarkov pivoting their innovative gameplay loop may spell their success once again at the end of their beta phase, renewing popularity in the game when it matters the most. 1.0 full release. And finally, yes, finally, that brings me to speculate when this game is actually going to release. Let me give you the tea right about now. I think a year from this point, if the game is not fully released, we will know exactly when it will be. I think they'll have everything ready to go. I think that people should expect the game to fully release within some sort of time zone that they are told and everybody understands and is clear from BSG to the consumer themselves. So I really look forward to that. I hope you do too, because I think this game is going to be so much better than it even is now. And with that being said, I really want to thank anyone who stuck around this whole video. I never do these types of videos. Obviously, if you look at my channel, I do VR stuff. This is way different. I just love this game. And I had this burning opinion in my head as soon as I heard about what the gameplay loop was going to be like from Clean and I'm going to link his video in this video. I'm gonna you know, give him credit at the beginning of the video and now at the end. Uh, I hope you go check that out. He really knows a lot about this game and the guys behind it, so really check him out. He's like one of my favorite creators about this game on this platform, so check him out. Really, thank you guys again, and if you like and subscribe, man, I would be so grateful. Send me a message, let's chat sometimes about what you think. In the comments section, let me know what you think about everything I said here. And of course, please elaborate on the things I missed. It was a lot. I know how damn bad it was and how much I missed, okay? So thank you. I love you guys. I look forward to release and I'll see you at the other end. See ya.